Guys, you know that mobile phones are a crucial part of our life to communicate with each other. We cannot even imagine our life without a mobile phone. Similarly, in our body, message is transferred between the cells. So, what is responsible for transferring message in our body? There are some chemicals which are responsible that as soon as the drug enters the body, it interacts with some proteins. We saw there how enzyme drug interaction takes place. So, in this video, we are going to see how drug interacts with the receptors. So, receptors are the proteins which are crucial to the communication process in our body. So, what happens is, the receptor proteins are embedded inside the cell membrane in such a way that their active site projects out of the cell membrane to bring about the transfer of message. So, how message is transferred between the cells? The message between two neurons or a neuron and muscles is transferred through some chemicals which are known as chemical messengers. So, what happens is receptors are responsible for the transfer of message using chemical messengers. Receptors possess the binding site for the chemical messengers. So, they change their shape according to the chemical messenger. And after the transfer of message, the chemical messenger departs from the receptor and the receptor regains its original shape. And from there, messages are transferred throughout our body. Basically, there are two types of chemical messengers, that is hormones and neurotransmitters. So hormones are molecules which are produced in the endocrine gland in our body and they flow in the bloodstream and travel to different parts of our body activating the receptors which are responsible for the message transfer. Neurotransmitters are small molecules such as dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine. Neurons transfer messages through neurotransmitters. They bind to the active site of receptors and transfer the message to it and depart quickly remaining unchanged. So the drugs which bind to the active site of receptor and inhibits its natural function are known as antagonists. These are useful when blocking of message is required. While there are some drugs which mimic the natural function of the receptor by switching on the receptor sites. These drugs are known as agonists. These are useful when there is a lack of natural chemical messenger. If a drug combines with more than one receptor site, then it produces side effects. So, this was all about how receptor drug interaction takes place. Till now, we studied about the classification of drugs on the basis of pharmacological effect, drug action, chemical structure and molecular targets. Also, we studied how drug enzyme interaction takes place and receptor drug interaction. For more videos, stay tuned with Tutorat.